I met God, the almighty creator of the universe. <laughs> One of the things that's important to understand about how the event occurred is um, is that I wasn't just sitting around, you know, popping pills, <laughs> trying to have this uh, hallucination. Um, it was a complete accident, and the way it happened was it was born out of a pretty serious uh, dental phobia. A good chunk of the book is dedicated sort of like a memoir, starting with the early childhood things uh, uh, that happened with me and dentistry that led to the phobia <laughs> that affected me as an adult and my upbringing because I think it's important to know that I grew up with a specific religion and that when I met God in my head there was a lens, there was a filter and that filter was the religion I grew up with. <laughs> so uh, we had a very long conversation in which he sort of um, said, look, when you come out of this, you're not going to believe that you actually encountered the divine unless I answer whatever question you may have that only a god could answer. I had a lot of questions about the Bible and what any of it meant and was any of it real, uh, all those kind of things, and then things about like the afterlife, the idea of heaven and hell, what it is, what it isn't the creation of the universe itself, why, how, all those things. When you read near-death experience books or anything that has to do with the supernatural and somebody's opinion on it, one of the reasons I wrote the book was because I don't necessarily believe that you can use them to validate whatever it is that you saw or whatever answers you received. Um, to me, those answers were just for me. I'm sharing them because I think they're interesting and thought-provoking and should ask more questions to the reader than they should answer the questions. When I pitched this to publishers, one of the biggest problems people had with it was that they would say, well, who is the demographic? Christians who read this book will think, well, this is blasphemous, this is heresy. Atheists are not going to be very happy with it because it deals with supernatural things that they don't particularly believe in. And, uh, you know, diehard religious people of any faction will probably not be, you know, in love with the book because it challenges basically every piece of organized religion. But at the same time, it, uh, it says all of that's okay in the grand scheme of things. You can be on whatever spiritual path you need to be on. So what it, the demographic that the book kind of falls into are people who are disenfranchised from Christianity but probably have some, some knowledge of it. We're trying to reach this group of people who, who don't all congregate together <laughs> in any town. You know, they don't have a, a center, you know, they're not organized in any way. But those are the people who the book is kind of written for. So uh, we're just putting this all out there to try to reach them.